the starter waits for them to settle down. And they're off and racing for the Coxcomb Handicap, the seventh and last race of the day. Even start by most of the runners except for Buddy Holly as the field settles down to race. It's a ninth gambit on the outside who takes it up from uh, in, the, in, in between runners. There is Luna Lucinda. Not too far away is Ashmita towards the inside is It's a Mukau being tracked and passed on the outside by Hurricane Storm. Moving in between runners, there is the favorite Optimum being tracked on the outside by Mrs. Willinilly. Then we go back to Knight's Gambit. Then we got Swan Light. For the back in the field in the white cap, there is Feisty being tracked by Midnight Magic as they pass the last 600. As they do so, it's Knight's Gambit about length and a quarter in front of Ashmita has moved into second. Racing in third, there is Luna Lucinda. The horses take the turn. Then we got Hurricane Storm. In between runners, there is It's a Mukau being pushed in uh, fifth or sixth spot. There is Optimum as they enter the home straight. It's still a night scambit, about a length and a quarter in front of Ashmita is racing down the center. Moving in between runners there was It's a Mukau. They race into the last 250 now. And It's a Mukau towards the inside from Ashmita. And Optimum is galloping on the wide outside. But It's a Mukau has pulled away about length and a half, two lengths in front of Ashmita. And Optimum, then we got in between runners there was Night of Thunder. But It's a Mukau is going to win the last race of the afternoon from the late finishing Night of Thunder. Ashmita is third, then we got Swan Light. Then we had uh, Fire Steel, then we went back to Knight's, uh, Knight's Gambit, then we went back to Optimum. Between runners, there was Luna Lucinda. Further back was uh, Midnight Magic, Hurricane Storm. Second last was Mrs. Willinelli, and Buddy Holly never took any part.